Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90 from the My Investing Club chat. I'm one of the top mentors and moderators in chat. As a special gift to our viewers on YouTube, we have created a free two hour course to help teach you how to start a consistently profitable trading business and identify high paying setups in just 30 days. There will be limited seating every week, so register for the course and reserve your spot now using the link in the description. As a special bonus for everyone that watches the entire video, we will give you the link to a free 10 hour additional mini course that has never been released to the public. Register now before all slots completely fill up. All right, guys, we have a new series this week and a special video for you today, in which case uh, one of our moderators, Sam Hajal, does daily recaps now and live trades. And today he has a live trading daily recap of making $1,000 in 30 minutes on the ticker symbol WORK, W-O-R-K, and his thought process with it. And while today is just a preview of the full length video, if you want to watch the full length or any of our exclusive content, then become an MIC member. Hey everyone, it's uh, Chicago Trader checking in for the weekly fundamental video. Hope you guys uh, had a nice weekend here, uh, wrapping up the end of September here. Um, Monday, I promised I would go over uh, PSTV, or Monday or Tuesday, uh, I was one of the main movers. Um, ended up doing a midday offering, so I just kind of wanted to go through, um, you know, kind of what I saw. It's definitely a little bit more of a deep dive, so I'm pretty excited to get through this. Um, so. First and foremost, you guys know that this is an investment advice on my part or uh, on you know, behalf of MIC, so be sure to do your own due diligence. Um, so again, this was a stock that caught my attention uh, in August when um, I had seen some of the PR that right here, it actually is the 8K, that uh, they were going to be reducing uh, the conversion price of their preferred stock as long, uh, along with the Series 2 warrants from... 79 cents to 15 cents um, Obviously not a good thing if from the company, but yet at the same time um, A lot of incentive to drive this higher on here. Yeah, so this would have been PR this day uh, Next day gaps down to seven two or three days later right around. I think it was August 6th. They announced a uh, One for 50 reverse split right so um, that applies to it so the the um, 15 cents you got to take, uh, take times 50 so seven dollars and fifty cents post reverse split is what the uh, conversion is at so it was kind of something that I kept on the back burner um, you know it, th that gets announced so the reduction the reverse split this thing completely plummets right so um, I had been playing this this day and in through here and I was scratch on that one one day I won lost uh, one day I lost um, but more importantly, there was more behind this story. So let me get into this. So why was I so, uh, there's two factors that really kind of uh, caught my attention with this after I looked into it. So um, the first thing was they had this shelf, right? Um, the S1 back in February, and then they amend it, right? So this is huge, and I'll jump into this in a second. But, um, you know, you go through the 8Ks, of course, I tell you guys in a lot of the videos what I look for. Uh, this one was huge. Um, they did a listing one. So before I jump in, um, if you guys don't know, I've covered this in a lot of the videos too. So one of the things that you're most commonly going to see with delisting is they have to have right the dollar bid and they have to meet one of the following three, right? MVPHS, 35 million, net income of 500K, and at least, you know, one of the, I think last year or two of the last three years, and a stockholder's equity of $2.5 million. Um, and I've kind of just done a shortcut. They burn, you know, roughly about a uh, million dollars a month. So if you go back to this 8K um, on 8:21, so one of the things there's a lot of rules that you have to abide by to be listed. So those are the most common. But this first sentence, uh, first couple sentences here, um, is another one that you don't see very often, hardly at all. Um, but they got a delisting notice from the NASDAQ because their float was under 500,000. So it was right around 450,000. Um, I think, man, they, get, they have to offer, right? Early, 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 very, very soon. Uh, they didn't, and the thing plummets. So why was I so confident on the 23rd when it popped up that there was gonna be 
um, you know, a good good chance if I wasn't certain by any stretch of imagination. Um, you know, timing the exact day of an offering is um, tough, but you can increase your odds, obviously, the later it goes on. Um, so you can see that for this rule, to meet the minimum of 500000 they had uh, until September 26th, right? So this pops up on the 23rd. Um, pretty low on cash. The day that this moved, the 23rd, they actually... Um, one thing I didn't like about the PR was they were supposed to receive at the beginning of October four and a half million dollars, which is decent for them. Um, but you know, nonetheless, that they had to meet this float requirement. Um, in addition, there were some other delisting notices. Um, so stockholders' uh, equity was negative six point three. So again, it needs to be positive uh, two and a half million, right? So let's go through some of these numbers real quick. So you got that, right? You got. It's September 23rd when this thing pops up on a PR. They have till the 26th to increase the float, which obviously, you know, dumping shares is going to increase the float. Um, stockholders' equity, those are the ones where they can get funky because, right, uh, the easiest way to get rid of a deficit is raise cash or eliminate debt. And 90% of the time it's raising cash. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.